Hi guys, it's Tracy, and today I'm back with another BoxyCharm premium box. I don't know what's going on with BoxyCharm, but I haven't received my base box, and it's like the 21st of the month, I think, and I just got the premium box, so um, yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in the box in and of itself, so it wasn't the best month. There was no card in my box. So usually I just crack open the seal and pull the card out and there was no card. And all of this was just, there was, wasn't cushion. There was no bubble wrap. There was an eyeshadow palette and the clock comes out. So I don't know what's going on over there, but they're not doing something right. So let's see what I did get. The first product here is the Dermalect XL Lash Volumizer. And this is $49. I looked up all of the prices so that I'd be able to tell you. And this is, I guess, just a, like a lash enhancer to make your lashes grow. Nice packaging. So we'll see how that works out. 49 bucks, that's the price of the, more than the price of the box. And then my choice item was the Sunday Riley CEO Vitamin C Hydration Cream. And when you buy this at the store, it comes in a box with a scoop. So this is how they put it in the box, just like this. There wasn't you know, anything cushioning it or anything. It just had the standard little foam piece on it. So I'm actually honestly surprised that nothing broke, but this is the choice item that I got. And this is $65, so another high dollar item. And then we got the Ciate London, the Editor Palette, New England, and it did have a carton with it. And this was $32. Mr's very interested in this one. It's really pretty packaging. It has like palm trees on it and it has like a little bit of a texture on it. And I did get a chance to try this once already, and it was okay. The formula was not bad. I, I never actually really heard anybody talk about Ciate London's um, eyeshadows other than the Roger Rabbit one that came out that everybody said was horrible. So I've used it once, and so far it's okay. So nice looking palette. And then I got a MAC lipstick. This is their satin lipstick, and it is in the shade Spirit. And this was $19, and they did a perfect job of picking out a color for me this time. I don't know how. They probably just threw it in and, you know, didn't really look at my profile. But that is what it is. I like these brownie nudes. Those are like my go-to shades. So that was $19. And then I got this, what is this even called? The Portable Contour con and Concealer Brush. This is by Fenty Beauty, and to me, this is a waste of a product. I w I, before I knew what it was, I'm like, what is this? Like, is it supposed to have something, it looks like a sponge on the, I'm like, is something supposed to be coming out of this? And then I figured out, it's like a brush, but it's super, super dense. So, and I don't touch up my makeup, so like I wouldn't need this for anything. And this was $24. I imagine this is probably one of the items that Fenty couldn't get rid of because it's, you know, not that great. And then I got another Fenty item, and this is the Fairy Bomb Shimmer Powder, and this is $28. And if this was a shade that I could use, I would be more than happy with it. Comes in cute packaging, but this shade is called Coppa Chill. Oh boy, it made a mess. I don't know if you can really see how dark it is. I mean, it's this is definitely for deep skin tones. I mean, let's just put it next to this. There's no way I could wear that as a highlighter. You could wear it. It's a pretty shade, but I mean, I can't wear it. There's just no way. So I will probably have to try to find somebody that I can give it to and see if somebody else can get some use out of it. That's when like stuff like that kind of irritates me because they're sending out products that they know are not gonna match your skin tone. And like a few months back, I got 
the Pure Lease BB Cream in the shade Tan. And I told them, hello, like I'm light. And they tell me, oh, well, sorry, we're all sold out of it. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do now? And then when the pop-up came around, they had them. And I'm like, so I thought you were out of them. And I couldn't get my shade, but yet you had it in the pop-up shop to sell. So I thought that was a little suspect, but yeah, them sending wrong shades, I, like that's getting irritating because they keep saying, make sure you fill out your beauty profile. And I hear from so many people that are like, I filled my beauty profile out. I mean, both people on YouTube and off of YouTube say the same thing. Like, why are they sending me these dark shades? Or why are they sending me these super light shades? And people are just, you know, like not getting stuff that works for them. And it's like, if you keep continually telling people to fill the beauty quiz out, then you should be going by the beauty quiz. So that's just a little irritating. So there were six items and I will probably, I will use four of the six items, but not the two Fenty items. So let's see what the total was for this box. I didn't add it up. 32, 65, 49, 19. So the stuff that I will use totals $165, which I paid $35. So that's, you know, doesn't seem like such a bad deal. But the box itself, they say, is worth $217. And I think it's supposed to be $225. So we may be off on the numbers even there. I'm not exactly sure. So that was what came in my premium box. Super, super late. I don't know what's going on. But that was it. I was kind of holding off to get the other one. But who knows where that is and if it's coming, when it's coming. So that's the box. I do have a referral code if you would like to sign up for BoxyCharm. You will get a free item, I'm pretty sure, and then I will get points to redeem in their charm shop. So if you're wondering on my eyes today, I have the LA Girl Fierce and Wild palette. I just picked this up. That's what it looks like. And this is the same formula as the Artistry palette and the I don't remember the name of the other one, but I picked this up at my local discount store for $5.99. And then on my lips, I have this, is it called Peri Para? And this is called their Velvety Lip Tint. And I got this at my trash shop or street sweeper going by, sorry about that. I got this at my local discount store as well. And this is in the shade Glimpse Brick Brown. And I got these for $1.99. I bought this one in another color. And so far, the formula is pretty nice. It's not too drying. That's the shade. So, so far, I'm liking it. I haven't really been wearing a ton of lipstick since any time I go out, I have to have a mask on. And, you know, then it just gets on your mask. And then it's a mess. So, anyway. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe. Make sure to click the notification bell to be notified of new videos. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day or night wherever you are, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.